university teachers are no strangers to being prepared. And job action preparation is just another day for us. Here we can see the picket captains in their meeting, learning about strike procedures, how to behave on the picket line, how to be respectful to people, and how to make our position known. We want the best for UPEI and the best for its students. There's a lot to think about, a lot to talk about, and a lot to plan. We need to try to make our point known so that this strike can be as short as possible. Because nobody wants a strike, and nobody wants a long strike. We want to get back to what we love to do, teach students. We can only hope that that's going to be possible very, very soon. All right, we're talking with Bill Leland. He is currently working on something here. What is it you're working on, Bill? Well, we're getting the, the strike passes available, uh, ready for uh, our members who have uh, approved reasons to be on campus during the strike, Very such, good. such Very as good. Our, our veterinary co veterinarian colleague. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So, just in general, how how's this whole strike making you feel? Well, you know, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a lot of work. I wish we didn't have to strike. Uh, I wish that there would be a, a fair and reasonable, you know, contract would have been negotiated. Um, but the, the one thing that strikes me in terms of what's happening here at headquarters is a lot of solidarity uh, and a lot of, uh, you know, folks coming together and, uh, and working together to ensure that our strike is safe, it's purposeful. Uh, and uh, uh, and in the end, it will it will motivate our employer to negotiate because they haven't mo been motivated to negotiate to date. Because then one person could be actually cutting the rope, right? Yes. That's what, uh, that's what you're going to do. So, we'll pass you that. Thanks. Let's actually, do you want to show me your oh. through the holes idea? So, there. I was thinking that to measure it. Um, so you guys are making Goodbye, sandwich boards, is that yeah. right? Yeah, oh, cool. design time. So Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if we do it like, oh, sorry, like so, we can tie it in the center and it's just one knot. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. You want to leave a little extra so people can adjust? Oh, yeah, and air on the side of a little longer, just because everybody's different heights and right. all yep. that kind of stuff. So yeah, this there, and they can always tie a knot at the neck too if they need to adjust. Okay, we'll go with that. Right? Yeah, yeah, kind of beat it through itself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, Jared, right. if you want to start cutting the rope, sure. that cool. Using that as a prototype. Cool. Yeah. yeah. There's some steam. Um, just check your drill, drill direction there. Oh, is it I right? will not put that in the video. Okay. <coughs> was it going backwards? I think it was going backwards. No, that would make it seems sense. like a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's magic. You saved the day. In my defense, this there is not my row. That was okay. That was mine and I was okay. So, I've got Lori Brinklow here, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what it is you've just been doing. What, what is it we're doing here? We are making picket signs, and I brought my husband's drill, and we're putting holes in the core board, and then we are going to put rope through it, and people can hang it around their neck, and then people can actually write on their board what exactly they want to say. Awesome. Like, maybe we, I don't support arbitration, or our working conditions are our students' learning conditions. Exactly. So now, uh, people seem really happy right now. Yes. Are they happy about the strike? Uh, no. I didn't think so. Nobody wants a strike. Exactly. But we want to make a change. That's right. I mean, you know, people have said already that it's good to be working together. Is that is that part of what sort of motivates you in this? Yes. There's nothing like being part of a group when you're fighting for something that you all believe in and better to be working together than apart. Awesome. Thanks. The one common theme that keeps popping up throughout all of this activity is solidarity. 
working together for a common goal is a good thing. All right, we're speaking with Simon Lloyd. Simon, tell me today, how are you feeling about all of this? I think some mixed feelings. Uh, it's really great to see everybody here working together. Um, I think at the same time, everybody would be, <laughs> would be hoping that a strike could be avoided if possible. If we could get a fair agreement without that, that would be ideal. But I think folks are getting to the point where we, you know, we understand that this is what it's going to take to make UPEI better for the future. Um, and yeah, as I say, the positive side of it is seeing people working together like this and connecting and uh, yeah. In ways we don't often get to do professionally because we come from different areas of the university. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we see and connect on campus as well, but not in the same, not in the same way as this. And yeah, it's just a whole, it's a whole different atmosphere. Exactly. You didn't buy all these, right? These are all from last time? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And I opened one up and it was okay. Yeah? Yeah. All righties. So yeah. we've got uh, Kelty and Anne. And you are working with a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. What is that? What are you doing? So this is material going into each of the bins that will be sent out to each picket line to keep them going through the day. So we've got sign-in sheets as people come and go. We've got all kinds of high-vis gear to keep people safe. A little bit of rain gear, some mitts, a bunch of office supplies. Basically anything they might need when they're out on the line to make everything go. So safety is really important to us. Yeah, it's yeah. probably number one priority yeah. for us above everything else is we want to make sure people are safe out on the line and none of this is, is worth it if we have somebody injured or anything like that. So, so now we're getting ready for a strike. It, is this what you classify as fun? What an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> no, the 40 crew is hard. <laughs> energy to yeah, it. Yeah, there's an energy, there's a camaraderie, there's a, you know, it, it's been months and months in the making and here we are and we really wish we weren't, um, but we is and so it's, I mean, today is fun, right? I mean, and thank goodness because if, if we just let the weight of a strike kind of take us out, we wouldn't have what are about 15 or 20 people in here today working on putting this all together. It's fun, but to some extent, I, I, I won't say I'd rather be marking, but I would rather be getting prepared for teaching this week. Absolutely. That's my politically correct answer. That's the one that's like I should say as a faculty person. Well, I mean, that's, that's pretty much universal sentiment that I've been picking up from people is that you know, while we're making the best of a situation that we're forced into, yeah. ultimately, this is not what we do. This exactly, is not yeah. what we like to spend our time at. We want to spend our time teaching. Yeah. It's just too bad that, you know, we can't manage to sit down and talk this out. Absolutely. Oh, well. And we've got a good group. That's the important part. We've got a great coordinating team. It's a good group, and that makes all the difference. Good people makes yeah. the difference. Yep. All right, so we're here with Larry Hale. Larry is our treasurer. Let's see what he's got to say. So, Larry, what are you doing right now? Well, right now I'm working on the uh, forms and spreadsheets that I need to be able to provide strike pay to the FA members who will be walking the picket line. Strike pay. So does that mean the university is no longer paying the faculty members? Absolutely. Well, where do they get their money from? Well, the union members, uh, through their dues, pay into a... Uh, uh, strike fund that is also supported by our national organization and uh, for every day of strike duty they will get uh, so they'll get some money to help replace those wages and uh, keep everybody uh, uh, supporting the bargaining team so basically we are putting money into like a savings account precisely and then we're using our savings that's right you know we've uh, been amassing this for some years now and it's now it's time to put it into action very good well, thank you very much for the info. Well, thank, thank you for asking. All right, so we're here with Jen Taylor, and she is on the foodie cruise. Matter of fact, she is really the mistress of food. So what can you tell us about the preparations and what you're doing? It's a huge amount of work. Um, this is the third time in my career that I've actually headed up a foodie crew. 
Um, and I can tell you it is the, one of the most rewarding jobs you can have when you are on strike. And the reason for that is because nobody wants to be on strike, especially in the winter. And um, when we pull up with our foodie van and we have the music blasting and we have bunny ears on and we're singing and we have hot good food and hot coffee and tea, um, people are really invigorated by that. And I know that when we were out in 2006, it made a huge difference. There's an incredible strength in being together and supporting each other. And it's hard to even describe, but I'm sure you remember other years, Chris. Um, when we pull up to the line and we see the hands going up in the air because they're just glad because they're getting a hot cup of coffee and something to eat. Um, but it's just way more than that. And I, I can remember after the strike was over in 2006, I would run into people on campus and they'd say, hey Jen, you know. And to me, um, like I said, it's one of the most gratifying jobs I've ever had. And I didn't hesitate to sign up. It really does create something quite different and I have to say that is one of the parts of this that I look forward to but I don't look forward to job action and it's not necessary but if we have to do it we're going to do it right and do it it's obvious we have one thing and that is solidarity everyone working together and everyone enjoys everyone's company although none of us enjoy the prospects of going on strike all we can do is work for a better future, a better future for everyone at UPEI, most especially for our students.